Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video here on how the process of lapping valves goes for these GT40 iron heads. This is the first time I've done this, but I think I've found already a few tricks uh, to help me along the way. Initially, I was uh, kind of using this old school way uh, with hands, but uh, these slip off so easily and you will be fighting with this tool, cleaning off the tops of the valves, cleaning this off in order to get it to stick just right. And even then, you're just not getting a whole lot of movement. Um, I've been using this Permatex valve grinding compound. It's been doing a great job. I'll actually link both of these in the description uh, for Amazon, so watch for that. The other thing uh, that you might need, or will need, is one of these babies, but don't get too concerned. There are some videos out there by the pros, uh, so you know, let's just acknowledge that for a moment. Who say not to use a power drill, um, and a lot of those videos that they reference, the people using those drills have them on absolute max speed. Uh, they're very loud. And some of the criticisms are that you can't really hear the compound thinning out and uh, the grinding noise getting quieter over the motor of the drill. Not to mention uh, pressure differences uh, when you're you know, jamming kind of a drill uh, with a tool like this on the valve, how that could uh, negatively impact the valve seats. Well, I, I believe I found a way around that, uh, quite honestly, and uh, it's really not that difficult. So I want to show you quickly how to do that. Now just to give you a quick demo of how I was doing it, I was using the small end, the large end just wasn't working, it wasn't sticking at all. So basically taking our end and then just moving it back and forth like this. And you can see, pops off. Just incredibly easy, pops off. So that's what I was fighting the entire time. Let me show you how, you, how I overcame that. So the first thing we're going to do is take our tool hitter and take off the end you're not using. For me, it's the big end, it's just not working. So we are going to just chuck that up with our drill and has a nice kind of almost purposely built <laughs> chuck in there. I'm just going to tighten our drill onto that until it grabs and we'll make sure that spins. Now for step two we're going to take our Permatex valve grinding compound and just put it around the valve seat. Uh, some people like to put this on the valve itself. I found this to be a little bit easier and less chance of getting any of this stuff into your valve guides. If you do get this into your valve guides, clean it out and clean it out well because this stuff could absolutely damage uh, your valve guides and uh, you know make them not last very long at all. Uh, this is a grinding compound after all. So we just want this stuff going on to the seat and that's it. I'm not too concerned um, about how it looks just as long as I kind of coat that outer rim. We're good to go. Now we're going to take some oil, lubricate our stem. And we definitely want oil on this because uh, we will be spinning this valve. So let the oil kind of seep around. We'll just put our valve in. We're going to do the same. We're going to do the exhaust and the intake at the same time. So just get that nice and lubricated with the oil flow. We'll just put them in. Okay, now we're going to tilt our head forward and push them the rest of the way in. Now that I have the head flat on the table, let's push these the rest of the way in. Now with our head flat on the table, we can use our tool here to suction onto this valve and get it spinning. And the trick is to use very low speed. We don't need to use a ton of speed with this. As long as you use low speed, you're going to be able to hear the grinding compound work. And that's really the big secret. But I want to show you a couple other steps that I'm doing just to make this process even better. So we'll try to center it up as best we can. Now the tool is going to wobble around a little bit, but that's okay. We already got it unstuck there, so I'm going to take my towel, make sure it's clean, make sure the tops of your valves are clean. If they have oil on them or anything like that, they're not going to stick very well. Compress. Just start spinning. Listen to that grinding sound. You can hear it thinning out. So now it's really quiet. What I'm going to do is with my other hand, depress the valve. Let me get kind of the outer grinding compound that falls back in on the valve seat and we can grind it a second time. Until it gets quiet. Now it's nice and quiet, so I'm going to take, again, take my hand and depress the valve. Let a little more compound in. And 
and they get a nice quiet sound. So at this point, and there we go, it it came off. So we'll just use our towel, clean it, clean it here, and we should be all set. That valve should be good. So let's take a look at our work. All right, before we take a look at our work, I'd kind of like to just keep my mouth shut and do this valve so you can kind of hear the grinding sound and then the quiet sound when I depress the valve. Um, you'll hear it get loud again and then get quiet. I'll do that three times and we should be all set. So I'm just gonna shut up and let you guys listen to this. Depressing. Depressing. And one more time. All done. All right, we've got everything done, so let's take a look at our work. Valve first. You can see that edge is uh, nice and smooth, and it's a little dull looking. I didn't expect a polished or anything like that, but you can see the outside edge where we didn't make contact, it's not supposed to, but we can see that we have a very clear uh, kind of machining mark or tooling mark, whatever you want to call it, uh, just from the process. And we have a very uniform, um, you know, mark here. So we are all set, all the valves look just like this. So moving over to uh, the valve seats themselves, you can see uh, this kind of had a gold kind of tint to it and on the uh, edge there, it's uh, very silver and uh, polished up. And that is where, you know, we are making our mark. So everything turned out really nice. Uh, these heads are going to the machine shop next to get decked. Make sure, you know, if you're not uh, hot tanking your heads after this process that you clean them and clean them earnestly. You don't want any of that valve grinding compound to, you know, remain on your valve seats or get down into your valve guide. So that's it, everyone. The big secret here is to simply use low speed and take your time. Don't press too hard and everything will work out just fine. You can hear that grinding compound wear down. You can visually inspect along the way. You have absolute control with the drill and I don't see doing it any other way. I'm very happy I kind of uh, gave this a shot and did it this way. I think everything turned out better than it would have had I done it by hand. Uh, not to mention the ability to uh, kind of depress the valve as um, I'm spinning the drill. I thought was also a great trick and you know kind of helps you really you know do three, four, five rounds if you want of grinding in you know just a matter of time and keeping it very simple. So um, this video helped you. Please help me hit hit like and subscribe they'll be somewhere around here these heads are going on a 1990 fox body mustang the motor is prepped we just need to get these uh, heads serviced in order to make sure they're nice and flat so that's the next step if you'd like to see that do hit that subscribe button all right have the great rest of the day